Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Potavi, at least I think that's how it's pronounced, operating system. As it says up here, it's an open source fork of Unix, not certified Unix. If it was certified Unix, it would be all caps. That's the whole process. Inspired by and intended to surpass the BSD line of systems. It, and it also says it's not BSD right there at that link. And it says to offer the benefits of a Linux-style system without the viral licensing and mixed relationship with proprietary software, referring to how the GPL just goes into everything and just everything you try to use with it, essentially. That's a, a simplification, but that's basically what happens if you use the GPL. LGPL is a little looser on that, but... Yeah, you know. The version I'm going to be taking a look at is a Potabi Systems Desktop Beta 1.0a release. Or, the this is the page for that version. So, Beta 1.0a. And it says that it's a beta release. Beta. It's not recommended for production use, and it's before the creation of Core NGS. Or, Core New Generations of Systems. And it's still using FreeBSD. And it'll change later. Uh, so it was released on codename is Luna. And it was the release date was October 6th. As you can see, it's October 7th at 7 in the morning. Because I woke up at 2 in the morning. My sleep schedule is all messed up. But I saw that it was released. So I'm like, I jumped right on it to download and test it out. Because I've been waiting to test this out since June or July. 2021, uh, since it, the first ISO images were being built, um, but that was, it wasn't until yesterday that they got it published and released. So the release notes say that they've added the Mate desktop, Light DM, created a bootloader for it, and added a few bug fixes. It's not production ready, just like it says up there. Testing. Now this is very important. They don't, so, uh, there's no automatic login system added, so when it boots up, there's a login prompt saying Potabi Live User, and then we have to click Login to log into a Mate session as a non-root user. And then there's a command to become root. I thought you had to be called by a machine, but nah, that's not how it works. Uh, using BSC config and BSD install commands. In the live CD to test anything in install. I don't know what it means by test things because I thought it would be a live environment that you would just run, but we'll we'll see if if that needs to be done. I don't know. Sometimes we might have to restart if something breaks and we can't fix it. Here it says that the installation doesn't work properly yet, and the installer actually installs FreeBSD, not Fotabi, and they just haven't worked on the installation tools yet. Oh, okay, so if you want to experiment a little with a graphical one, you have to run these steps until you exit BSD config. So until this step right here. Uh, at which point the system is ready for live system use, and they'll, they'll fix it later. So we have to open a terminal, log in as root, run BSD config, and use the arrow keys to network management and hit enter. Go to network interfaces, hit enter, enable DHCP, and save and exit, and then we exit. And then the installer, I'm not going to install it because, I mean, that's just FreeBSD. There's no point in that yet. There's no point in installing it yet if it's just FreeBSD. This could break majorly, and that'll be exciting to see. Oh, BSD config might break when modifying network interfaces, disabling DHCP and never allowing it back on. So we'll have to restart if that happens. So yeah, you can download it from right here at this link. But I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go open this in full screen and power it on. I copied it. And there we go, we have the boot screen. I really like their logo and stuff like that. And I like their logo on the, the colored logo on the right side. And also the text at the top is nice, but their their uh, PNG logo that was changed to be changed to text 
looks really nice. So I like that. So now this is just booting. I... Oh, okay. Is it already closer to being done? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Ooh, okay, here it is. I wonder why that's so washed out. That must be a an issue with Mate or something. So, I am I apologize for the slow mouse cursor movement, or the choppy mouse cursor movement. That's just how it is in uh, VMware. So we've got a bunch of stuff out here. This is LightDM, I guess. I don't think I've ever really used LightDM. So we've got Potabi Live User and Login. And there we go. That's there. I don't think there was much customized yet because this is the first beta version. But we can go through the applications and places in system. So under accessories, we've got a character map, an archive manager, the calculator. There we go. Uh, the font viewer, search tool. Pluma text editor, and you can take screenshots. Graphics, we've got the Eye of Mate image viewer and the color selector. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember this. I use this a lot under um, Linux Mint Cinnamon. Or no, not Cinnamon. Mate. Back in 2014. Under internet, we've got Firefox. I wonder which version this is. This is, oh, it's a recent version. Help. And about 93. This is actually the first time that I've really used um, a BSD operating system that I know of. So that's, this is very This is Well, this is the first time I've used one in a desktop. I tried a base version of this before to see if it was anything customized that was customized in here, but it was just FreeBSD with a different name on the boot screen and a nice logo. Office, we've got a Trill document viewer. PDFs. Maybe XPS too, I don't know. And a dictionary application. Sound and video, we've just got sound. That's important. Oh yeah, I just noticed that there's shadows. This looks nice. System tools, it's probably a default thing, but it still looks nice. Kaha file manager, log file viewer, Mate disk usage analyzer, Mate system monitor. So it looks like a, a lot like the GNOME system monitor, but for Mate, oh, that, oh, I wonder why that went like that. Oh, probably the kernel line. Oh, you can't resize it smaller, that's weird. It says, uh, this is all the information here. Uh, yeah, okay. Available disk space. Oh, that must be in the RAM. Or something, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we've also got the Mate terminal, power statistics, sys control view, oh, system control view. Oh. Um, okay. Wonder if about. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It might be a, fr it might be a BSD thing. I'm not sure. Uh, we've also got X term. Oh, that I've never seen it blend. That's really interesting. I've never seen the, the background of the terminal blend into the title bar. So that's. Yeah, that's it under there. Places, we've got just your standard places. I think it's been a long time since I've used Mate. Preferences, we've got under hardware, or system, and then preferences, we've got under hardware, displays, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, mouse, power management, sound, date and time, ma time and date manager, internet and network, we've got network proxy, look and feel, we've got appearance, main menu, pop-up notifications, screensaver, and windows. Under personal, we've got about me, assist assistive technologies, file management, preferred applications, and startup applications. And then control center, health about Mate, lock screen, log out Potabi, shut down, and yeah. Uh, so it did say to run a command. Let me get back to that. 
let's say to run a command, run commands to do stuff. Open a terminal. So let's open a terminal. Um, not a terminal. Oh, I need to change the colors, green and black. There we go. Okay. So we need to run. I don't know if that's how you do it. Okay, you, you do su space hyphen space root. I wasn't sure because it wasn't in a the code block. So then we run bsd config and then we go down to oh wait option 2? No, oh wait network management. I got confused. And then number 2 network interfaces. And then sure DHCP Enabled. Okay. Um, I'll save and exit. And exit. I'll exit BSD config. Okay, so I like that blue background, but I think that's just a BSD config thing. Close terminal. Um, I I don't know if I had to do that because it went to the Firefox thing. So, is this full screen? No, wrong one. Full screen. There we go. But yeah, we've got all this stuff here. This is the home folder. Desktop. I don't know if there's any backgrounds. Oh, it's loading, I think. I don't know if there were any backgrounds pre-installed or not. I think these are just the default theme. I'm just trying to see if there's any anything that wasn't mentioned in the change log that's like, oh, well, if people find this, that's neat, but like as an Easter egg, I guess. I'm not sure. Power statistics, what's that look like? Oh yeah, I remember that. So yeah, this is... Oh, and over here we've got the calendar. Oh, the, the calendar doesn't have seconds. Wait, can I put the seconds on here? I don't remember. Show se Oh, that's the panel. Yeah, so... Mate was ahead of Windows 11 in not putting the time, the seconds, on the calendar area. Wait, no. No, Mate doesn't even have the time on here. But at least you can put it in here. So, eh, kinda, not really. It's a little different. It's more like Windows XP calendar. Um, oh, you have to click on that. So I don't really remember much about Mate. And I don't know how to do really anything with BSD, so... Yeah, let's see this. Here's the disk image, disk usage analyzer. File system. Copyright, let's see what's in here. Open with Pluma. Copyright 8.2 Berkeley, March 21st, 1994. Copyright uh, 1992 through 2021, the FreeBSD project. I see. See, this is, even though this is the beta, 1.0, beta for 1.0, or 1.0, 1. I don't, beta 1.0. Even though it's beta 1.0, it's just really cool getting to see a new operating system that's Unix-based, even though it currently uses FreeBSD, it's not BSD, and just... New stuff is really neat. OS release, I wonder what's in here. Okay, so this was... may not have been modified yet. 
but I mean I understand because it's based on FreeBSD and this is just a super early version. Uh, name FreeBSD, okay, because it's, they're using the FreeBSD base right now. It'll change in the future, but you know. Yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of stuff on here. I think it's really cool what they're doing. I hope it succeeds. I really don't know what else to look at. It's just stuff. Does the oh the calculator button on my keyboard doesn't do anything in VMware? Okay, but I can actually go to their website. Maybe I should just yeah, please. Thank you. I can actually go to their website in here. I wonder if there's any favorite or bookmarks. I know that some operating systems, like I know Linux Mint will put their stuff in here, so I wonder if they did, if that's on here too. I don't think so. No, that's okay. We can go to their website right here and you can see it. Fotabi Systems, Potential and Ability, pretty powerful. And we've got all this stuff here, and it's got the release notes, stuff like that. That's what I was showing earlier. Um, but yeah. Oh, we I guess we could customize this, actually. Oh, 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 okay, it is working. Wait, what's interface? Ah, I see. We could actually customize it. I, I don't remember my favorite Mate theme. I think I... Yeah, I use this one a lot, I remember. Uh, looks like Windows XP, sort of. I don't like that over... scroll thing, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, we can customize it, that's right. Ah. Oh yeah, now it's more like... Windows. Because I, um, I really, obviously I really like Windows XP. Oh, I didn't know there was a Windows ME theme. I really do like Mate's. Idea. Because... Um... The idea of Mate because... Oh, now that looks nice. Ooh. Okay, that's... There's a bit of a problem there. Maybe it's my... Theme settings. But it looks really good. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Green... Meh. Doesn't really look... That good. But Blue Submarine looks really good. Maybe we can customize it. Controls. I don't know. The nice? What about that one? Oh, no, that one doesn't look as good. Oh, that, that looks really good right there. Nice and sharp. Oh, that... Mate doesn't like that. Um... Oh, I... I think I broke Mate. I don't know. Um... No, maybe I didn't. But this is just really cool. I'm glad that the project managed to get the beta out so quickly. Because I know that they had to delay it a little, a few times, due to technical difficulties getting it working. But I hope they're successful in, in their vision of... Well, what is their vision? Let's go look at it. I don't remember it. <laughs> um, so they... So what makes it different is that it's to... Under, it's the understanding of the importance of stability and design. So they... 
I, I think it's... I don't know. It says here that a core focus of Potabi is to focus on sustainability over new features and ideas. And they started the core NGS project, which is essentially a replacement to FreeBSD, their original base. That's why it's the FreeBSD usage is temporary. It's designed for sustainable development, even by splitting up directories to make sure each section can be maintained independently from the rest of the source, letting developers focus on what needs to happen and less so on where to find it and it aims to be a supportive ecosystem that allows the best of open source to work with, not against, the big names and proprietary software, focusing on dependability, maintainability, simplicity, and sane structure are the core pillars of Potabi that Linux doesn't fill. And then there's GitHub here. It goes to their GitHub page. And with all the, the stuff on it. So yeah. Uh, I hope you check this out. I'll, obviously, like I said before, this link along with the um, the version I checked out, that release page on the on the wiki will be in the description, and I'll also put the wiki's homepage in the description too. Uh, once there's more work done on this, I'll probably check it out again. But that's going to probably be it for now, so goodbye for now. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the logo here, the wiki's logo, is actually different. I don't remember what the wiki's logo is supposed to be. If that's the, that might be the Potabi Foundation logo. So under here, about, yeah, I think that's the logo. Oh, okay, here's their foundation website. Maybe that'll... Ooh, that's cool. Is that a fractal? I think. Oh, our mission. Here we go. They're, they're dedicated to building innovative operating systems, operating systems development, and operating systems management software. Everything they do is not for profit and is completely open source under the fair and honest open source licenses. If you want to benefit from our software, just make sure you read the licenses first. So these are their projects. Oh, that go. That's their foundation. Okay, that's just here. And then their package manager, which has. Oh, it, oh wait, no. I I don't know if they've set this up yet. Yeah. Okay, they all go to the same page, so I assume that they're gonna work on it. Oh yeah, GPL three can infect other software. If it's not fully compatible, you break the license. Yeah, that's why I don't like the GPL. Oh wait, that's the About Us thing. I think this logo is for their for the foundation. I know that the oh I oh I opened the tab. I know that the logo here, this logo up here. Sorry, it's kind of small. That logo. Wait. Oh, press information. Maybe it'll be bigger on here. Nope. Oh, sorry. Um, actually, I can open up the Twitter page and then bring it up here. See, that's the logo. Oops, the press kit has guidelines on the margins and it's a place where it's clear and visible. Okay, here's the explanation. I forgot about this. Logo for the Potabi systems. Uh, I think the the operating system. Which is going, which is currently for desktop with the beta. It's going to be on servers and mobile devices. Uh, is a dragon named Fie? I think I don't know for sure how that's pronounced. And goes by she. And it says that, and this here asks, says that they ask that you respect the logo's pronouns, and there is officially lore to the logo. So I wonder if they'll explain more about that in the future. That would be interesting. Uh, code names for it are names of friends and family, the developers of the project. Point releases are uh, modifications for the release. It's a stable release. This is probably important stuff I should have explained before. Maybe I should be like, oh yeah, I'm not. I might not be pressed, but I should use. I need to use, know this information to tell people, not mislead anyone. One thing I really like is that they release it when the software is ready, not 
when some arbitrary deadline hits. I follow this philosophy as well, so I'm glad to see this. Uh, they just count up from one. Some of them can include a post fix, alpha testing releases, A, experimental is E, and then U is updated software release. So like how Ubuntu has some versions are like they're similar. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of like the hardware enablement versions of Ubuntu, I think. I don't know. So yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll just link, yeah, they're working on a mobile version. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna link to their homepage so you can go to it more easily. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye for now.